So I've got my race bike up on the stand. Um, and the reason for that is that I've been test riding it and I'm still finding going up the steepest hills is involves a little bit more cranking than I would like. I need lower gears, but this is a 1x11 uh, drivetrain. Uh, I can't put a smaller chain ring on because the crank set will not accept uh, a smaller chain ring because of where the bolts are positioned. Um, so not the easiest problem to solve. But I had a word with Richard at Oxford Bike Works and um, he suggested something quite simple, which is why don't you just put a 22 tooth uh, inner chain ring on the crank set and you might be thinking, well, how can you do that when you don't have a front derailleur, front shifter? Um, well, if this is only going to be used for the very, very steepest of climbs in this race, then, you know, you can just push the chain on to a different chain ring with your foot and hook it back on with a bit of wire or a spoon or something. I've done it in the past when my bike's broken down in the middle of nowhere. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd try it converting my 1x11 into a 2x11 uh, without introducing any extra parts or complexity apart from one more small chain ring. Let's have a, have a go. Because this is originally a three-speed chain uh, crank set, I can actually just take the uh, inner chain ring bolts out and put this on, put it back on and then when I really need those extremely low gears just uh, yeah use my foot to push the, the chain onto this chain ring. Um, I would only do this in a, in a race situation and only if I knew I was going to be doing it like once a day maybe twice a day something like that because um, it's not exactly the most kind of ergonomic setup but it might work I'm going to give it a go um, go for a few test rides go up some super steep climbs see how it works with the chain tension with this derailleur um, see what range of gears on the rear cassette I can actually use with this 22 tooth chain ring and report back put the ring on put the new bolts in make sure that it's actually the right way around. This has some wear on it, so I want to make sure that the, uh, the chain ring teeth are actually pointing in the right direction uh, of the existing wear, or else we're going to have some interesting chain slip issues uh, or chain suck in the two. Um, do those up. Tighten them up by hand and maybe taking this off again shortly, so I'm not going to overdo it here. And reattach to bicycle. not happy in the combination of two small sprockets so let us rectify that because I'm actually I'm not actually going to be doing that in real life move up a few all right that's more like it okay so that's a chain uh, that's a chain shortened for a 32 tooth chain ring running on a 22 tooth chain ring in the fourth gear down from the top. That's got some good tension, that should be fine. Um, I should be able to go all the way up to this, which is, that is going to be so much easier <laughs> going up some of these articles. That might even be too slow to actually keep the bike moving, but um, 
even if I'm just using this in like, let's say the top three out of the four top uh, sprockets here. Um, I think when it when it really when I'm really in need of those extra low gears, this is going to be something I'm very very glad of in in the race. Um, <clears throat> and all, literally all I've done is slap an old second hand spare twenty two tooth chainring onto the crank set. No extra parts at all. Um, let's see how it shifts. Um, put it onto the. So this is how it's going to be most of the time, 32 tooth. And then the idea is that I use my foot, basically, do that. And there we go. And in terms of getting the chain back onto the uh, big chain ring without a derailleur and without getting my hands covered in crap, um, Richard suggested getting a spoke, an old spoke, bending it over at the end and then using that as a hook. Um, thing is, I don't have an old spoke, so, but what I do have is uh, some utility hooks from Ikea that are actually designed, I mean, the reason I actually bought these was for my kitchen, but I, know, I reckon that's probably about, <laughs> about the right size. Let's have a go. So pedalling along, get our hook, lift the chain onto the chain ring, hands completely clean. Who needs front derailers? <laughs> it's quite elegant and I can just stash this somewhere super handy. Um, yeah, that will work really well. <laughs> so much simpler than all of the various other things I could have done, which involves spending money, buying more parts, buying bigger cassettes, different uh, crank sets, adding a shifter, adding a derailleur. I don't want any of that. I want something that's super simple, and I think this is it. So we'll see how it goes. Now you can like, comment, and subscribe.